Verona says he should please tone down on his celebrations because when he does that, it will bring nothing but only races, you know, chance here and there. He's saying this before kickoff. Today, the Italian Premier League is on. It starts from today. The English Premiership is also on. Now, if you go to Spain, Germany, everybody's playing. On the 15th of September, Ghana will also have a fair share of this season's edition of um, the Premiership. Today, I've been joined by one man who's um, virtually lived all his life in the UK. And I'm Edu Jemfi is also here. He's lived all his life in Kumasi. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Yeah. And how are you doing? Very well, thank you. Well, recently, you know, we, we had the English Premiership starting. And, right. and on my way to the studio, Asna, were two goals up against Fulham. And I just don't know if Fulham have managed to, you know, creep from the back to being Arsenal. But some other matches are also coming up. Let me quickly take you through some of them. Um, okay, Arsenal's Fulham, on my way, as I said earlier on, it was two in favor of Arsenal. Now, at 2 p.m., a couple of minutes from now, Everton will take on West um, uh, Brom Albion. And then we have um, Hall City versus uh, Norwich City, Newcastle, West Ham United, all at, all at 2 o'clock. Another 2 o'clock match, Southampton versus Sunderland. 2 o'clock again, Stoke City versus Crystal Palace. And then 4.30, we have Aston Villa versus Liverpool. Tomorrow, action continues. Cardiff City versus Man City. And then Torium Hospital versus Swansea City. Man United plays against Chelsea on Monday evening at exactly 7 p.m. And that is the game to embrace. If you blink, I'm telling you, you lose most of the action man city man united versus uh, chelsea now tell me you you have been watching these guys or these teams you know week in week That's out right. and stuff yeah. what makes the Engli english premiership more attractive you have big big names over there with big that's spending right. money that's right i think probably and uh, the pendulum seems to swing from one place to another i think when i first arrived in the uk you had the italian link was right on the top then you mm -hmm. went to the spain but now it's the premier league that's where all the stars are uh the, the type of football is totally different from what they play in Spain, where it's much more tic-tac football, Italian football, a lot of thinking. But the Premier League is action. It's action. It's the pace of the game. I was about to come yeah, to that. Yeah, the pace of the game, uh, the strength of the players, uh, the tactical moves. Every game is, you know, and every team is equal, equally mm -hmm. matched. I mm -hmm. think that's the difference with the other, other such as the Italians or where you have AC Milan, Inter Milan, Juventus. You, you, you go to Spain, it's virtually Spain, Barcelona. Barcelona and Real Madrid. Mm -hmm. But the English link, you've got about six of them fighting for the four European mm -hmm. Championship Cups and, mm -hmm. and everything. And it's very, very competitive. And you have the, all the players spread across. Now tell me, um, wh where do you think they, they, they get all of these huge monies to sign these players? Is it by way of sponsorship? Is it by way of you know, putting things in order in terms of um, ticket sales and that stuff? Uh, I think probably they are blessed in, in, as you call it, in the Premier League that a lot of the owners of the big clubs such as Manchester United, they're from the United States, Chelsea as you all know from Russia, uh, Manchester City uh, from, you know, as you call it. You know, we have guys coming from uh, the right. Emirates to yeah, come by and okay. all these things. So most of the rich people manage mm -hmm. most of the senior clubs or most of the affluent clubs over right. there. And, and that brings in a lot of money, that brings in a lot of investment, and television is also playing a huge part. Mm -hmm. you know, everything sky is in order. And everything. So there's loads of money there. No, and the players you don't, you are don't commanding. have people money from. No, 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 no. Everything goes to the right channel. Right channel. And the players are also being paid quite a lot of money as well. How much are you paid a week? <laughs> a lot of money to a lot of money myself yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> how much do you have in your bank account a lot <laughs> <laughs> yeah. here are some guys who are su super rich kids if i should put it that way you, you remember mario balotelli at a point in time was driving with a whole lot of money right. in the passenger seats yeah. asked by police what are you doing with this it belongs to me uh, he bought a car the first day went out smashed it and then in the evening the car was brought back to the factory that's tells right. you how money what money does you that's know right. Eduna, um let's give our attention back to the black stars we have four of our own brothers coming back on my way to the studio one of our cameramen uh, he was complaining he doesn't understand why um i don't want to mention a name that person always you know comes in when the black stars are going for a world cup or on the threshold of playing a world cup he goes to have holidays somewhere enjoys plays big game and then says now nah, we're going to the world cup i'm back 
Well, the return of these four gentlemen. It's a difficulty that we have on our hands, but if you are a manager, you are supposed to make sure that you are able to handle some of these things that come up every day. Um, you know, they are big stars, they are established players, and so uh, every now and then we are, we are going to definitely have some of these hiccups in our team, but then it is up to the coach, you know, to know how he's able to handle some of these things. It's very much unfortunate that some of these incidents happened, and as you rightly said, some of these players decide to sit back and watch their colleagues do the, all the action. But when it matters most, when glory seems to be coming, then, then you see them jumping into, into, into the into they the. They become show. like submarines. They go deep, and then you see them surfacing. Well, now they, 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 they've come back, but then it is also up to the coach to decide whether he'll be able to, you know, to play to play with them. them into his team. It doesn't necessarily mean that. Once they are back, they, are, they have automatic, you know, position, uh, position mm -hmm. into the Black Stars. Now, right. when they were not there, there, there were other players who made sure that they, were they played very, They've very well. They've taken us to where we are now. Exactly. And so now, watch a game of the Black Stars. Um, the Black Stars against America, the United States of America. Do you have a friendly coming up? I'm being told something of that nature is in the pipeline. But let's wait and see. But, now, but in, in, yeah. in my view, you know, uh, in Ghana, we, 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 we've got abundant riches of players. You get me? We've got abundant riches of players. Lots of talent. But talents. But when you talk about the four coming back, we're talking about quality. You know? And, and, and they are talented. You know, they play every week at the highest level of football. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we need to welcome them back. Mm -hmm. You know? Because if you have a you on the left, and you have Prince Boatin on the right, and you have Kajua somewhere in the middle, and you have a Samoa Jang up front. You think your problem is solved? Oh, yes. <laughs> You've got the best four that can match anybody. We're not only talking about African football. We're talking about the world. World football. No, yeah. we saw what they did in South Africa. They made us all proud. Oh, definitely. You know? Exactly. And that's where we have to move on. We don't want to go back. We don't want to miss we football to with politics. No, retrogressing. no, 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 no. We don't want to miss football with politics. With politics, all right. Yeah, let's, let's let the, their football do the talking. All right. Just, and let's enjoy it. Seriously, uh, we, should be, we should be realistic here. Are we saying, therefore, that the form that these guys had some few years ago is the same form that they have currently now? I mean, if you talk about Kevin Prince... Oh, that's another Boateng, question to answer. Exactly. Yeah. If you talk about Kevin Prince, but in the football that that gentleman played about two or three years ago is not the same football that we are seeing now. Of course, and it, you, you the can't same applies. Nature. The same applies to the other players. So in terms of quality, for me, I feel that we are not having that quality that we used to have in times past. No, no, and so no. we should be able to give that kind of opportunity that we gave to this crop of players who make sure that they, they are yes, on the well, brink yeah. of qualification to, mm -hmm. to the next to World continue. Cup that we are going to play. Exactly. And so I think that they should not obviously be guaranteed a position in the Black Stars. No, no, those, not, those players who I, played I don't think that's up to this to point, no, 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 up no. to this he was talking about no, quality. What, what and I'm saying that well, in terms of quality, we yeah. ca they cannot guarantee us that kind of quality because we are seeing it Telling in the in the teams that they are playing, Kevin Prince Boatin is not, you know, a, fir a first team player in AC Milan now, and the same applies to probably Jordan Ayew and the likes. And with the instance of Jordan Ayew, George, you know, the the reasons that he gave before he he went out of the Black Stars, how those reasons, you know, been addressed? Been addressed? He said what he wanted to he wanted to be guaranteed a starting role in the Black Stars. <laughs> No, no, Andrew no. Andrew Dede also said, oh, no, exactly, no, no, that's no, the no. point that he gave. That. Andrew Dede also can say stated that. that his relationship with the Black Stars Management Committee, you know, had gotten to a point whereby he cannot work with them. <laughs> has those reasons or has those been positions addressed. been addressed now? And, f and for me, I think it's... What about Kelvin? Kelvin also said due to injuries and stuff like that. He was but that's what I'm saying. To play you should leave politics out but of now, football. But now, has those injuries left him? Yeah, I think he's, he's now free. He's devoid of those injuries. <laughs> you you should leave play. politics out of football. Mm -hmm. and let the, you can't, you can't uh, mix them together. No, no, no. Let your football do the talking. As mm -hmm. I saw Prince playing for AC Milan against Chelsea in the preseason. He was exceptionally good. Mm -hmm. I saw Muntari also playing on the same day. He's, he's, he's he was exceptional. He was excellent on day. And he played against Bayern Munich. I saw those games live. Mm -hmm. They were both exceptional, excellent players. And oh. I think they would just add riches to what we have already. I'm moment. not saying the ones who played before weren't good. They were very good. They did well in the African Cup. But these boys, we just had a little bit more. Can Pass. I ask you one thing? Um, do, do you think footballers in their own right do fear their colleagues in terms of when, when I see a baby player, hey, this problem because somebody just told me at a point in time there was some sort of mind game um, against Nigeria. Betty, you know, the, the handler said he shouldn't warm up. The Nigerian star woman is, is out of the game. But then on 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 the referee, you know, calling the players out of the dressing room. Here was Abedi Pele in the Black Stars colors, and of course Ghana beat Nigeria on that occasion. I, th I think it does have effect on certain players who don't miss with the Europeans. Mm -hmm. Now, if Ghana appeared 
playing the game and they see all those players who play for AC Milan it or Inter Milan, it spine. send a message, send a message to them that right. Ghana meant business. And we've got our boys here today and we're ready to do the job. Okay, there might be other boys that can come in, you know, the young ones, it has to be a mixture. Mm -hmm. It can't just blinding. be only there. It has to be blinding and it has to be cohesive, you know, team, right. you know. But at the end of the day, we want to win the game and win it well mm -hmm. and send a message across. Do you see the Black Stars playing in Brazil? Most definitely. I, I, I see that even though the Zambian seems to be doing all the talking now, football <laughs> is not <laughs> in my way yeah. of math. <laughs> we play football in the field of, uh, mm -hmm. on, on, on the surface, and so we can allow the Zambians to do all the talking, but when it gets to where it matters most, at the Barbara Sports Stadium in Kumasi, mm -hmm. uh, on the 6th of September, most definitely we all will be there to see that very particular game. I'm sure well, that that's, the that's Black Star a, a, should... Top, a top striker at the moment. I think he's seen it all. He's played on all stages. And I'm still doing very well. That's a Samajan for you. He managed to rescue the Black Stars the last time. Pretty soon, we're playing against Zambia. And uh, we'll be talking about um, the Zambia game very, very soon. I'll be doing that with Ishmael and um, uh, Frank. Now, what is happening here is that um, a Samajan, of what people say, Zambia will definitely go down. He doesn't, he's not listening to any talks from Rainy Harvey. He's not listening to talks from, you know, other coaches. Um, mm -hmm. A whole lot of, you know, water currently going down uh, the bridge. Ghana set for Zambia. That's right. Yeah. I think Asawa Jam has been around, he? he has been around for quite a long time. Yes, he's still a young, a young man, mm -hmm. uh, but he's got experience. He's been two, two World Cups. Uh, he's still playing very well. He's still scoring goals. He's been a lone striker for Ghana for quite some time now. We haven't really had anybody really coming in to replace, to replace him. him. So he works hard with two defenders with him every game. You know, but short, I think the news. The opposing side, that's you know, right. That's of, right. Uh, numerical strength to become yeah. short. I'm sure Samoajian sitting wherever he is now with the news that the U brothers are coming back, Prince Boatin is coming back, uh, Sule Muntari, I sorted things out. I'm sure he's happy. Yeah, right. no, it's happy. And <laughs> I think it will deliver on the day. Quickly, before, before you guys leave me. <laughs> I wouldn't would want to. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I'm not in the mind of Asamoah to know the feeling that he's currently uh, is having. But I'm sure that uh, they are all poised for action on the 6th of September to make sure that we beat Zambia to edge us a little bit closer to Brazil. And That's I'm right. sure that all Ghanaians are really looking forward up to this very particular game. And, uh, and especially when we qualify for Brazil, I really definitely want to be there. And so I think that we have to make sure. Please we don't try <laughs> to make a trip to Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> you need to stay put here. Ghana is very good for you. Just, just stay here. <laughs> Gentlemen, thanks very much for, for your time on the program. Uh, that's Asamwajan again. As it, no, this is not Asamwajan. Well, that's it. Thank you very much. That's Asamwajan. Okay, he picks the ball on his chest excellently. And he's still being chased. He wouldn't leave the ball. Watch him. Very, very fantastic. And that's his uh, favorite three jersey. This time, punishing the goalkeeper in post for the United States of America. Samar and his colleagues really? will be in action on the 6th of uh, September 2013. The venue, the um, stadium located right in the heart of Kumasi, okay? Now, what's the name of that stadium? The Barbara Sports Stadium. That is where the action will unfold. And um, God willing, we'll bring you live commentary, both on radio and TV, from that particular venue. Now, Zambia.